Holy hit. Thank you. If you like the way I uh, walk, wait till you hear these jokes. <laughs> Back home, that's just a normal walk. <laughs> I got here uh, today. I flew on a plane. <laughs> uh, they offered fish. It was fish for lunch, but I, <laughs> I couldn't. I, I couldn't have it. Something to me just felt so disrespectful about having fish in the sky. <laughs> it's too far out of their element. It's not having a bit of chicken under the water. <laughs> so I, 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 I had to eat at my accommodation because I had to do a test. And I just had to make food with what was in the, the place. And they had oats. You know, oats? <laughs> yeah, they had them. <laughs> and also oat milk. They didn't have beef milk, but that, it's OK. I need. <laughs> but so here I am making my lunch, and I'm pouring <laughs> my oat milk on my oats. And I'm looking down and thinking, there's actually something really <laughs> unsettling about what's going on here. <laughs> Covering these little oats in their own blood. <laughs> no one asked for that, so... <laughs> so I'm hungry. <laughs> I, um... I spent a huge amount of time in my house the last two years. I don't want to alienate you guys with material that might not be relatable. <laughs> you might have done your own version of it. Um, so it was a lot like that, except it was more intense but because it was happening to me. <laughs> and I didn't like, <laughs> I didn't do anything. I didn't do a damn thing. Two years, didn't pick up a hobby, just sat there. It didn't even occur to me to, you know, start working on a vaccine. <laughs> Just assume someone else would front foot there. <laughs> yeah, and I got lucky, but I'm not proud of myself. <laughs> and it's sort of, I, after I finished, I had to start, I, I the start of this year, actually, I started seeing a, um, a therapist on so my first session in January, and I was so nervous, but I, I needn't have been, because it turns out I absolutely smashed it. <laughs> I know. Before I could even leave the room, the dude was begging to see me again. <laughs> it, was, it was pathetic, to be honest. I, um, I, I couldn't go back. But he, like, he, he loved talking in metaphors. He kept saying, he'd say stuff like, well, you know, guy, a good, I'd say, a good captain always goes down uh, with his ship, which is, <laughs> I think that's too harrowing. I, you shouldn't be able to say that to a client. Like, what's the ship in this situation? <laughs> but I just couldn't help but think, you know, like a good captain always goes down with his ship. Now, <laughs> is it just me, or do we not have to start setting ourselves some higher standards? for our captains. Because <laughs> there's an argument to be made that a good captain <laughs> sails uh, without incident <laughs> to their intended port. <laughs> you know, I'm sick and tired of standing down by the water having a lovely bit of guilt-free fish. Watching, you know, like a ship sink and 500 people drown and being elbowed by everyone going, hey, look at that hell of a captain, eh? <laughs> I, thank you very much, I'm finished.